Avre Guam switching it up a little bit. We're here at the lovely Dal Renta Own in Mangilao, yep. Home of the University of Guam, and we're here with our Athlete of the Week who also happens to work at UOG, Mr. Jonathan uh, Triplett. Congratulations on being our Athlete of the Week, Jonathan. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. And uh, Paul, my buddy from Dal Renta Own in Mungi Town here has a special uh, message for you, Paul. Congratulations, Jonathan, on your selection of the Dial Renton Athlete of the Week. Who would you like to donate this check to? Uh, we'd like to donate the check to uh, Camlin Kiridot, a uh, homeless agency uh, here in Guam. Uh, there you go. Now, Jonathan, um, he's got a long uh, storied history in basketball, and he's basically here uh, doing a lot of work with uh, the young ones for, you know, basketball clinics and, uh, you know, summer camps. And, Jonathan, if you could just uh, take us back to, I mean, you've played overseas in a bunch of different countries. Uh, yes, I, uh, I played in uh, several different countries in Europe and uh, also South America. Uh, I'm excited to be here and uh, actually help elevate the level of basketball uh, here in Guam and uh, help some of our young athletes uh, grow and become better and uh, possibly get a chance to go to the States and get a Division One scholarship. And, uh, hey, who knows, may even have a chance to go pro one day. Hey, now let's talk about pros now. Let me get this straight. Uh, you've actually rubbed elbows with my man KD, Kevin Durant. Uh, you want to tell us that story because it's pretty interesting. Uh, yes, um, before coming here, I worked at Oklahoma City University for about 10 years, uh, and Kevin, uh, playing for the Thunder, of course, uh, when he had the NBA lockouts when I first met him. So they uh, came in and wanted a place to practice and train uh, during the lockout, and so uh, I ran the gym there, and so he came in and started practicing and training there, and uh, I wound up training and practicing with him, and uh, it got to the point to where I, I would practice and train with him on a regular basis, and so uh, pretty fun stuff to get to meet and uh, work out and train with Kevin. Well, there you go. Well, uh, we're grateful that you're bringing a lot of that uh, expertise and knowledge uh, here to our tiny island of Guam. And congratulations again on being our Dal Rento and Athlete of the Week. Thank you very much. And I'm excited to be here in uh, Biba UOG as well. There you go. Go Tritons. You heard it here. AUAM Sports Athlete of the Week is brought to you by... GBA Championship Basketball Game tomorrow at the Phoenix Center at FD with the Sushi Rockets. Perfect on the year up against the Auto Spot Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns winless against the Rockets in the GBA regular season. And in the most recent meeting, Auto Spot led late in the game but ended up losing down the stretch. They made an adjustment from man to zone. Um, I think we, we weren't ready for that at the time. And, you know, with a little preparation in the championship game, we'll probably see a little bit of zone, a little bit of man, and we're, we're ready for that. The game time is scheduled for 7 p.m. for the inaugural championship matchup. Now, point guard Dominic Sablon says the game plan is to hold it down on the D and work as a team. We got a lockdown defensively. Uh, Sushi Rockets, they have a lot of offensive weapons and uh, it's, we're not gonna stop any one guy, but what we can do is uh, play some good solid team defense and uh, that should definitely help us. Both teams match up fairly well with size inside the paint and players who can knock down the big shots from beyond the arc. But the real question is, will the lack of a bench on the Phoenix Sun side lead to trouble down the stretch? And there's a lot of bragging rights for the Phoenix squad who will be playing this final game of the year on their home court. We're going to be prepared for that 1-3-1 uh, zone, which we weren't prepared the first time. But we're going to come ready. We're ready for their press. Anything they throw at us, we'll be ready. They got some shooters. We got some shooters. We're going to bring it. Triple J presenting today the FD Endowment Foundation with a check for $25,000 for the first of its kind sports scholarship available to incoming and current Father Duenia students. The Triple J Football Scholarship. Now the Triple J Football Scholarship will offer financial assistance to FD students with priority given to athletes who wish to or are currently playing football for academic year 2016 and beyond. This scholarship embodies the FDMS mission which aims to prepare young men for college foster and develop their faith and leadership in service of Guam and the community at large. John Tuck, Guam's UFC fighter, is still on the card for UFC Fight Night 87, but he'll be facing a new opponent after his original opponent, a German Nick Hein, pulled out of the fight a couple days ago due to an undisclosed injury. Now Tuck, 9-2 and two in mixed martial arts, 3-2 and two in the UFC, will face undefeated fighter Josh Emmett out of California. Emmett, 9-0 and oh in mixed martial arts, but making his UFC debut. Tuck, though, shook off any doubts about the opponent change, telling the UFC he will, quote, scrap anybody, end quote. With the only real change being Emmett is a southpaw fighter and Hein was an orthodox stance fighter. Now, despite this, Tuck says he trains for everything and anything that may come his way in the octagon. Tuck's fight is slated to air on Fox Sports 1, 3 a.m. Guam time. He'll be fighting on the prelims card for UFC Fight Night 87 with the main event 
being a heavyweight bout between Alistair Overeem and Andre Pitbull Arlovsky.